Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with the intern. Hello everyone. And what day is it? It is Tell All Tuesday. Tell All Tuesday. Yep. And I'm going to read something. Y'all can focus on Amber because I'm going to read this. But <laughs> we talked about fairs last week. We did talk about fairs. And we also talked about getting <laughs> glasses. Yes. And so I heard from Stan and he said, I recently got blue tinted see-through frame glasses Big gamble, but I really like them, and so does everyone I know. Uh -huh. So he got glasses, kind of like I used to have, right. but you didn't, people didn't know it. I went for the Magoo look. Then he <laughs> said, in the Netherlands, almost every town and city has a fair once a year called Kermis. Huh. But larger gatherings happen in cities or when a region has something like a fruit corso. Look it up. Fruit corso. Okay. And then he says, teal... T-I-E-L is a town I grew up in, which had the greatest parade wagons. Also, we are a music festival nation. Very cool. In the Netherlands. I would like to visit the Netherlands. It would be a great place to visit, I yeah. think. Yeah. I've always thought it just to be clean. Right. Be beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for writing in. Was it Stan? Stan. Thank you, Stan. Thank you, Stan. You did. You answered the question, then some other... I should have given a quote again. But... You know, we were, I was talking about eh, 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 the ride and then. Phew. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He wrote in and said Space, Space Mountain. Mountain. I got your text about that, by the way. Yep. I thought that was really I funny. can't believe we couldn't think of it. I know. I have no, honestly, though, Jackie, I never would have thought in a million years that you would ride Space Mountain. Have you ridden Space Mountain? Oh, yeah. I love Space Mountain. Did you, it, it was in the dark. It was in the dark. And you got right up to this point. Yeah. And then you just dropped. And then you just dropped. Yeah. Yeah. You know what my favorite Disney World ride is? We're about to go on a tangent, I'm sorry. Tower of Terror. Oh my God, I would never ride that. I love that ride. That just drops. Oh yeah, that's so fun. It's so fun. Oh, it goes, it drops and then it goes thing. up and then drops again. Don't they have something like that at Six Flags too? It drops? I've only been to Six Flags once. Okay. Yes, yes they do, because I wrote it. I wrote it one time, yeah. yeah. And my second favorite is Rock and Roller Coaster. If you've been to Disney, let us know your favorite ride. Anyways. I don't like, I don't. And poor Terry, <laughs> we were, I got to tell you, we were on the front seat of the front car. Yeah. We weren't at the back. So That's we so fun. We didn't see anything go over like this. Right. We just were, uh -huh. and then boom. And you are just on your way down. Terry at all. <laughs> Never again. Never again. Never again. Oh, boy. Space Mountain is so fun. Yeah. Anyway. 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 But I was thinking... I have been on a reading jag lately. I mean, just book after book after book. After I feel like book. you're always like that. Though. I am. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't it. <laughs> but there have been, there are so many good books out. Should I show them your stack? I'll put, yeah. them in, put it in my lap here. All right, guys. Here's the stack that we're about to walk through. And it just seems like I get one book read and then I think, oh my gosh, I got this one I got to read and then I got this one I got to read. But all my favorite authors are coming out. And this doesn't include, John Grisham's got a new book coming out called Biloxi Boys and I can't wait to read it. And then David Baldacci's got another book coming out pretty soon. I've got one of his in here already that I'm reading. Just finished this one, uh -huh. Nicholas Sparks. Now, have you ever read Nicholas Sparks? Yeah, I was the one that read... Um... What's his most famous? Message in a Bottle? No. The, With, uh, the last song. No, the last song. Yeah. That one, the one, the, they made one of them into a notebook. He wrote oh, the, the notebook. notebook. I never read that one, but I watched that movie, like, all the time. I love that movie. <laughs> I, that's your kind of movie. I love that movie. But it is because Nicholas Spark, Sparks, who I have met. Really? I interviewed him when they made Message in a Bottle into a movie. He came to Atlanta and... Was he was, nice? Yeah, he was super nice. And his career was just starting. Yeah. And he was super nice. It sounds like... Throwback right, so Thursday. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thursday. You throw that in there. But he is one of the few people who writes romantic... No few males oh, that yeah. write romantic novels. Yeah, and he's successful at it. He's known... He's certainly known I mean, for it. And his book, they go right up there yeah. on the bestseller list as soon as, as they come out. Yeah. And... This one is Dreamland. Really romantic novel. Uh huh. It, you know, it lives up. I just I finished it last night. Uh huh. You really liked it. I liked it. Yeah. I did. You know, he had he had two two stories 
going, going on at one time? Parallel, okay. yes. And you think he's up. They aren't related at all, uh -huh. but he manages to bring them, bring together. them together. Interesting. Good he job. Did. And, and then this is why, I, as soon as I finished this, I started this. David Last night. Yes. <laughs> this is Long Shadows mm -hmm. by David Bal... Is it Dachi or Baldacci? Baldacci. Baldacci. David Baldacci. Yep. And yeah. I've already started. It's an Amos Decker book. He's a pretty good way then. Yeah. yeah about like 30 pages. Yeah. yeah. It won't take me long. Yeah, well, it certainly won't but take he, me long. But he... He has several different characters that he writes a series of books. Mm -hmm. They'll say, okay, this is an Amos Decker book. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. And then he has other characters. Uh, let's see. The Memory Man series, which is this part of the Aloysius Archer series. Okay. The Antley Pine series. And then the Camel Club series. John Puller series. Lots of series. Yeah, I've read them all. Yeah. I, he is an author. I read everything he writes. Yeah. And so if you're looking for a good book, I feel like David Baldacci would be a good choice. And he, and I'm now, James Patterson mm -hmm. writes five, six, seven books a year. That's. But he writes incredible. with somebody. Uh huh. So it would be, sometimes he writes the, the uh, Alex Cross series, he writes by himself, or his, his name is the only name on the title. But then he will have another book, he'll say, by Alex Cross with Amber Garrett. Yeah. You know, or, or whatever. But David Baldacci writes two or three a year or yeah. more, and it's just David Baldacci all the way. Yeah. And we opened this on Mailbag Monday. Number three right here. And this is a series of books. And again, as soon as I finish, one, well, I don't know, because I've got two others that I've got to read. But, this is Racing the Light. Robert Cray. Yeah. Super, super, super. And you know, I urge people to, to read, read him. Yeah. But the next one. This is, ah, this is A Am Mother Would Know by Amber Garza. And Ooh. we talked about this on Mel Bag Monday last week. Yes. Story. And we heard from her. We did hear from her. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. And, and she follows me on Instagram now. Yes. Yes. I love that. Right. And But she was so nice about it. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to give her book more publicity. A mother would know. Amber yeah. Garza. Amber Garza. Yep. And there you she's go. on Instagram. Great name, Amber. I'm also Amber. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. We'll send that one to us. Yeah. Um, and and this is going to yeah. be our, our Writer's Wednesday book. For this. So tomorrow. Yep. And it's called it, Suspect by Scott Turo. Scott Turo. Turo. I can't ever get anybody's name right. Yeah, you do. I bet you're all most, of them. Most of the time you do. But <laughs> Scott Turo, I met him also. Okay. And he was at a book festival where I was, he was there. And he's from California, and he's an attorney. Mm -hmm. And he had a big hit with his one of his first books called Presumed Innocent, I think is the name of it. And it was made into a movie with Harrison Ford and one of Presumed Innocent. Yeah. And... It starred Harrison Ford and one of my favorite actresses who you've probably never heard of, Bonnie Bedelia. Never. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I have watched her career all the way through. She was in, uh, did you ever see the Die Hard movies? No. Oh, Sorry, my. Jackie, you know. You I see just, the Die Hard movies. You know me. You know me. I don't see anything. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bruce Willis, and she plays his wife. Bonnie Bedelia, and, but anyway, Scott Turo wrote, got famous for Presumed Innocent, and he wrote several more books, and I would read them, and it was like, oh, this is okay. Yeah. But it was long, he always, to me, overwrote, he gave us too much detail, and I think, just give me the plot, give me mm -hmm. the plot, give me, and he, he would combine it with, you know, mystery or courtroom drama, I love courtroom dramas. Yeah. Or lawyer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Lawyer, lawyer at heart, but yeah. this book, I mean, he threw everything out the window, and this is a fast reading, fast paced, quirky mm -hmm. book with quirky characters yeah. and quirky situations. Yeah. And I raced through this thing. What What do you rate it? One out of ten. Mm, one out of ten. Seven. Seven. There you go. That's yeah. a good score coming from Jackie. <laughs> and then we have this is the this is the last book we have on the list. This is called The Other Side of Night by Adam Hamdy. J. 
Jackie wasn't a fan of this one, and he'll tell you why. But is bad. I'm not going to mention his name, but we have a mutual friend. We do. We sure who, do. Who I trust implicitly, explicitly, mm -hmm. every licitly way <laughs> that there is. But he never steers me wrong on the book. Right. And he sent me this book many months ago. Right. And said, uh, do not uh, tell anybody about you know this book until it comes out because you know, it's got a twisty ending and uh, you know you're just you know people are just fascinated by it and and I saw all these people who got advanced copies who went on Facebook and said oh I just couldn't believe I couldn't put it down the pages were turning themselves listen to me every page was a lead weight. <laughs> never would have thought that uh, let me give a little background i also got this book no. <laughs> and i y'all know me i don't i don't watch anything and i i don't have time to sit down and read a whole book she's engaged and i'm engaged she's i got, got a job. job i got bills to pay anyway um <laughs> the first few pages that i did read though we need a go fund me <laughs> yeah oh my gosh somebody start that for me good lord have mercy um <laughs> Um, oh yeah, that Paris trip is just that looming. That Paris trip is just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this book, I got a decent way through it. I still haven't finished it. Jackie ruined the ending for me, but it's okay. I told him he could. You it's asked. Fine. I did ask. I did ask in <laughs> his defense. Jackie ruined the ending for me. <laughs> it was not that bad to me from what I can remember. I read it a long time ago, but Jackie just absolutely... Everything about it no didn't for appeal him. to me. What do you rate it when I was him? Three. Yeah, that's a bad score. Three. I mean, it's not like he's, you know, like he writes it like, oh, they went to the fair, they had a good time. Yeah. Well, I mean, he can write and he creates characters and he's got a novel idea mm -hmm. that he uses in the book. But I didn't, I didn't get any spark with the characters. It wasn't, it wasn't your forte. It wasn't, and I, that's why I, we did this on what would be, this is far or It'll be last heavy. week's we did it last week. But I said to people, I've read people who loved it. Yeah, lots of people did. Yes, yeah. they did. <laughs> Jackie's the oddball. Then there was me. Yeah, you know. can't say that because you haven't finished That's it. true. I can't have an opinion. That's right. You, you haven't done it. Yeah. But anyway, if you're a reader like I am, this is the time. It is amazing. And I, uh, somebody asked the other day, they said something about, you know, do you know our tax money goes to the, keep libraries open? And I think that's a waste of money and blah, 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 blah. And I thought, man, libraries have been so good to me yeah. during my life. Yeah. And I love it when you get a book from the library. Usually, I don't know if it's it, but usually it will say, you know, I have a little note saying when the book's due back mm -hmm. and everything. And you know what else it says? What? You don't go to the library much. Do you? I went to the library a lot in 2020, <laughs> if y'all can believe it. COVID year. But it, <laughs> but it will say, you know, your book is due back on such such a day. And, and it's it, like a few cents. It'll tell you that it's like a few cents if it's overdue. Is that what you're talking no. about? No. Oh. It will say, you just saved $27.99. Oh, cents. yeah. Because that's what books cost. Yeah. And when you go to the library, it's free. it's free. The library is the only thing in this world that is free. Utilize it. It is. I'm talking it to is. myself too. I need to go to you the know, library. And you know, Karen Slaughter loves libraries. She does. She and I have done things together to benefit libraries. Wherever I have lived, and I haven't lived that many places, but the first thing that I do is check out the library mm -hmm. because I gauge the town by how good its library is. And Perry has a very, very good That's library. one way to do it. But libraries are wonderful. Yeah. You know, you can go in there and just check out book, 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 book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I think it's great. But go to the library. They've got all those books. They sure do. So keep that That was a good mind. rundown. Thanks, Jackie. All right. Keep everybody up to date. Keep everybody up to date. But this has been Tell All Tuesday with I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with AJ the intern.